on Facebook Live. This is amazing. And this is notable because of what some very serious minded people have theorized is the future for Donald Trump. There is this live thing going on. It peaked at around 200,000 users a few minutes ago. That's uh, former Arizona Governor uh, Jan Brewer on the right and Boris Epstein of the uh, kind of a Trump all around surrogate on the left. And this is live in the spin room. A lot of people have theorized that uh, there will be a network of some sort, a media organization of the far right of some sort, maybe modeled after the blaze, maybe not a television network, because that is a tough business to break into. Uh, maybe something that looks a lot like this at the, the next end of iteration of Breitbart.com, which is yep. run by Trump's campaign CEO. I mean, you see the way they're setting this up. If you're tired of biased mainstream media reporting, otherwise known as Crooked Hillary's Super PAC, tune into my Facebook Live broadcast. And so this is a Trump campaign broadcast designed to look like news, but um, they want to get around the they want to get around journalism. They want to get around the media and, and do their own things. I was talking at the top of the hour about there being more and less strategic ways to badly lose a presidential election. If you're just a business guy and you don't care at all about the Republican Party, then one strategically sound way for you to benefit from a badly lost presidential race is to turn it into another brand move for your organization and expand into fake journalism. Uh, that very, Mel, no, come on, let's, let's get this together. This very well may be the first salvo in that that mm -hmm. we're watching tonight. We're all in this together. Steve